you know, I totally stumbled into it, totally stumbled into it. I, uh, I had, had an idea that I was going to be a secretary and, uh, and somebody suggested that I was, I was too bright to be a secretary, isn't that terrible? And so they sent me off to a recruitment agency that was recruiting for um, operators and I got a, a job just, and you know, the only thing that attracted me about the job was the fact that it was night shift and that sounded so glamorous that I thought I'd do that. My, my first challenge was probably being a manager of, uh, of the shift at 22 and I was too young to be a manager. Um, I was too gauche and raw and I didn't understand people so I had to learn to understand myself before I could, could manage the team properly. And then sometimes there are challenges or were challenges about being taken seriously maybe because I was a woman and because I was ambitious perhaps people didn't believe it um, but you just keep keep knuckling down and, and telling them that you are ambitious and you do care. We don't we don't outwardly state it we don't kind of say I really need to be the next head of the company or I need to have that role. We just hope that somebody will notice how well we're doing and therefore, you know, that they'll promote us because they've noticed, but clearly they don't. You do need to, you do, need to do some work and tell people that you care. You know, if, you, if you're a, someone who enjoys problem solving, then it's all there for you. And if you're somebody who enjoys the latest technology and seeing where the world's going, then that's there for you. And if you've got a bit of a scientific technological bent, it's just such a buzz. It's such a buzz. I, uh, I wouldn't change having been in the technology profession for the world. I, I guess they might be completely um, taken in by this geek image. And yet, uh, just recently, geek has started to have some status, some kudos. But, but really, we're not all geeks, you know. Absolutely, the industry is full of different types of people. And I don't think women often realise that. But there's plenty of work going on to try and change that perception. I was watching a, a kind of preschool child and she was asking her, she was playing on her iPad and asking her mum what the iPad was telling her. So she clearly couldn't read, but knew everything about this device and how to use it. But then for the girls, it's working out or, or making the connection between using that as a tool and being able to manipulate it as a, you know, as a device and make it do what you want it to do. Um, and, and you know the programming and the aspects of maintenance and selling those those tools. I, th I think we're going a long way. I mean, you you look at some of the things that are happening at the moment. Uh, Maggie Philbin has got the team tech um, work going on, and great numbers of children are getting involved in technology. And she cares that there are women in or young girls in there as well which is fantastic. WISE is doing a lot to bring uh, girls into science, technology, engineering. And we at the BCS are doing our utmost inside BCS Women. So um, we, uh, we did a, an event around careers for women and we brought the teachers in to tell them what kind of careers there could be because we know that the teachers are the careers advisors. I think there's something that needs to be done with parents um, and we're still pondering what that might be but, but you know it's parents and teachers who will work with the kids to, to decide what they do in life and, and where technology comes in. Just go for it. That's it. Just go for it. It's just fabulous. I, uh, you know in my life I, I got sent to America to write some books. I fixed problems for hu humongous organisations, you know, like Citibank, one of the biggest banks in the world, and I fixed their computer systems way back in 1985, in the middle of the night, by myself. And, you know, you kind of don't think about it, you just do it. But afterwards you think, oh, all of that system depended on me being there 
alone, fixing it and making it go. How proud can you be of that?